Fashionista family. For today's video, it's a very good one. I'm going to be doing my wedding makeup tutorial, so this is how it looks. I am just so obsessed with it. It's so fresh, it's so beautiful, it's so bridesy. I absolutely love how it turned out. And this is also how I will be doing my hair for the wedding. I'm just obsessed with everything and I'm using some go-to staple products of mine that I know absolutely work. I put this makeup to the test several times because I really wanted to make sure that everything worked together. The powder, the foundation, the primer all worked together. That's such an important thing for it to work on your wedding day because you don't want to be blotting you don't want to be redoing any of your makeup for your wedding day you just want it to look picture perfect all day the reason i am doing a bridal makeup look is because i am getting married this month i did announce that me and matt are getting married in the month of april in my march favorite so if you miss that go check it out but yes we are tying the knot this month we are not giving out the specific date just for privacy reasons but of course, after it's done, I will tell you guys when we get married. But I'm just so excited for this day and to marry my best friend and to just spend my whole life with him. It's just, I seriously started crying the other day just because it got me so emotional. I'm like, I get to spend the rest of my life with him. Oh my god. It's starting to make me cry now. I gotta stop talking about it. It's so exciting to me just to finally have like the love of my life in my life. And I'm just so excited to marry him and take his last name and just to be with him forever. If you are interested in seeing this bridal makeup look, then of course make sure to subscribe down below for me and let's get into it. Alright, so to start off this tutorial, I already used the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is my absolute favorite eyeshadow primer, so of course I will be using it on my wedding day. And to set it, I use the Wet n Wild Single Shadow in Creme Brulee. I go through these like water. It matches my skin tone. It just gives me a nice base and a nice canvas to start my eyeshadow makeup. So on my wedding day, of course I have to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is my absolute favorite palette. I use this almost daily. It is just a staple in my makeup collections. So of course I have to use it today because I'm very comfortable using it. And so on your wedding day, you really should use an eyeshadow palette that you just absolutely love and you know the formula forwards and backwards and it's just a staple eyeshadow palette for you. So of course I want to build up slowly so the first shade I'm going to go into is this shade right here and I'm going to be using that as my transition shade today. So basically just putting it all over the lid with a very fluffy brush. I always like to go in with lighter shades and then make it darker and darker because once you go in with a dark shade, it's very hard to take it back. So I always start off with very light shades and work my way up. I also always start off with my eyes just because it avoids fallout. If you do get any fallout, it's very easy to clean up and you don't have to worry about messing up your face makeup. So I 100% always start off with my eyes. So if you do your face first, all you have to do is put some loose setting powder underneath your eyes and then it will catch the fallout. But I just like starting off with my eyes first because then I can clean up the outer V's a lot nicer. And it just gives you a little bit more freedom if you do your eyes first. Now I'm going up a shade. I'm going right into this shade right here. I used this one first and now I'm going in with this one. And I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm using the exact same brush and everything but it's just slowly darkening it up. I'm still using the same brush, but I'm going to be using this shade now and doing almost the exact same thing, but try not to take it up as high. I really don't want this shade to pass the crease. Alright, next I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to be putting that mainly on my outer V and a little bit into my crease but I'm using a more precise fluffy brush. Alright. 
All right, and then the next shade we're gonna take is this one right here, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but honestly, to me, it is so worth it because it's your wedding day, you wanna take a little extra time, and you just want everything to look blended and just fresh. All right, and now I'm going to be wetting a dense eyeshadow brush. The one I always use to pack on my lid shade because usually it's a little bit more sparkly or metallic or foiled, so a wet, flat brush is perfect for that. And I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It is so beautiful. It's just a perfect champagne color. And I'm gonna be applying this about three-fourths the way, maybe half. And you don't have to do what I'm doing. I hold down my lashes because I have hooded eyes. So it puts a crease into my eye. So when I hold it down and raise up my eyebrow, it just gives me a really flat surface to work with. I guess to explain this shade a little bit better, it's like a cream champagne. And I just find it to look stunning on the eyelids. It makes your eyes look very wide and awake. All right, so I want to intensify the outer V just a little bit more. Not too much. We don't want to get too crazy. But I'm going to be using this matte dark brown and just lightly put it in the outer V. All right, now just to blend out the edges, I'm going to go back into this shade right here, taking my fluffy brush and just lightly blend out those edges. So far that is the eyes, so I'm going to go on to the face. The primer I'm going to be using is the Milk Makeup Primer. This just came out, but I have used it a couple times. I think it is such a great primer. I have been absolutely loving it. The reason I picked this primer specifically, especially for my wedding makeup, is because it is just so tacky and it does not let my makeup move. You don't even need that much, you need like a little tiny pea size, but I have tested it out so much. I'm now a bartender in this small town that I live in, and I have to work about six or seven hours. And so I really put it to the test because I would make drinks, I would splash my face, I would have to make food, I would be around steam, and I would just be running my butt off. So I was really testing this makeup, and this primer has just worked the best for me. It holds on to my foundation and the rest of my makeup so nicely and it's it's perfect. I don't know what they put in it, but it just grips my makeup and does not move. You guys are going to be shocked, but this is the foundation that I have decided to wear because every single time I put it on, I look like a baby doll. I just feel like so beautiful and my skin looks so flawless with this on. So I'm going to be using the Mary Kay Timewise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation in the shade Beige 1. This has always been in my top 5 favorite foundations. It's just absolutely beautiful. It really doesn't get any hype or any love on YouTube or anything like that, but it is seriously a beautiful foundation. So I'm going to be using it on my wedding day. It was a really hard choice because I love so many foundations, but this one just seems to last all day and I don't have to blot throughout the day because you guys know I have oily skin and so it's just perfect. And this was actually the foundation I used on brides when I had to do their makeup. So I decided this is the foundation I'm going to be wearing. Of course, I've tested it out many, many times. That's one thing I want to tell all brides out there. Do not try a new foundation for your wedding. Make sure you have tried it multiple times with multiple different products underneath and on top of it to make sure it really works for you because your wedding day is not the time to do a foundation wear test that is for sure and I have been using this foundation for years now and I love it but if you are looking into this foundation just let you know they do have a luminous finish as well so if you know anybody that sells Mary Kay I would seriously recommend trying it out. It's just a beautiful finish. Now for concealer. I'm going to be using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer because this is hands down my favorite concealer. I love the finish of it. It doesn't get into my fine lines. It doesn't build up. 
and it's not overly matte and it's not overly dewy so I just feel like it really gives me that perfect under eye finish that I want. So I first blended out my concealer with this brush. It just has an angle to it and it's a little bit more fluffier. But after that, I like to just go in with my sponge and just really press it into my skin. All right, and now to set my entire face, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I know what you're thinking. This is very, very expensive, and yes it is, but it is one of the most beautiful powders ever. And I have heard that people with dry skin love it, people with oily skin love it, and I'm just obsessed with it. I try not to use it every single day, but when I want to put on my full face of wedding makeup, I use this because obviously I'm going to be using it. I fully tested it out, and it just makes my skin look picture perfect. It is so beautiful. Now because I'm so extra recently, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder as well and I'm only putting this in my T-zone because I do get so oily throughout the day so this really just holds my oils at bay. So I put it on my forehead and down my nose and around my mouth because that is where my foundation breaks up the fastest. And also when you're hugging people, when you're kissing people, and you're drinking drinks and stuff like that, the T-zone is the area where it breaks up the fastest anyways. So I really just want to set that foundation down. Okay, now to contour the face. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit for my wedding. I have absolutely been in love with this contour, this highlight, this bronzer, and this blush. It is perfection. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this contour right here and contour out my cheekbones and my temple. I'm also going to be using that shade to contour out my nose of course. All right, now I'm gonna go into this bronzer right here and just bronze up my face a little bit. Now to blush the cheeks, I'm gonna be using this blush right here. This blush seriously just complements this contour and bronzer so nicely. It's nothing too harsh, you kind of have to build it up a little bit, but once you build it up to your liking, it is so beautiful. Alright, now to highlight. I'm going to be going into the Essence Pure Nude Highlight. This is such a beautiful highlight, especially for brides. So I'm going to be starting from the apples of the cheeks and working my way back. This is so subtle. It is seriously a perfect dupe for the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. Now to intensify it just a hair more, I'm going to be using this highlight right here and just putting that right at the high points. Now to start my lower lash line, finally, I'm going to be using this shade right here and I'm just going to be putting that all along my lower lash line. Then I'm going to be taking this shade right here, putting it from my pupil outwards. Now to go in with the inner corner highlight and the brow bone, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Now 
And then I'm gonna put on some mascara in my lip product and I will be right back. All right, so for mascara, I use the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. Of course, it's one of my favorite mascaras ever. And then for lip product, I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Aquarius 2, which is so sad. They don't even have this around anymore. It is seriously so sad because this is my go-to staple every single day lip and I'm almost out so besides this makeup tutorial I have not been using this lip product because I want enough to be able to use on my wedding day but this is the finished makeup look this is also the hair that I will be wearing for my wedding just something very simple but a little bit pulled back it's just it's me and I absolutely just love how everything turned out I hope you guys really enjoyed this video Please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!